So now I have the um, robot moving from one point to the second point. So probably sometimes we use um, offset. Like usually when you mail, you don't want the milling machine to just keep cutting. What you want it to do is once it cuts from one line, then you want it to go up and then cut again. Something like it goes here like this and then you want to go up, come back here, go down, go this way, up, down, like this. So you want to have this kind of movement. And instead of just cutting from the machine, from the material, because sometimes you might have your bit into an accident and then you're gonna crack your bit and accidentally. So in order to, to add a offset, they already offer the offset component inside the KUKA library. So what you wanna do is you want to check in the toolpath they offer you the offsets which is you have two options for offset one is called tangent offset one is tool axis offset let's check both all right now we have both of them you can choose either one for me i usually i actually choose Both of them are the same. Is there another offset? Let's see. This is the safe plane. Cartesian offset, yeah. All of these are, they all do the same thing. What they do is they create offset. I usually use this offset because I usually just use it for the 3D milling. I don't use four axis milling. If you are using four axis milling, probably you should use the other offsets. For me, I, I'm gonna use only this offset here. So instead of connecting the command directly to the command uh, component, I wanna connect it here. And then I wanna give it in the Z direction an offset of something like 50 millimeters. And then I wanna connect it here directly. Uh, probably 50 is too small. Alright. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna start in the first point, second, third, and then after it finishes, then it moves up. So that's what we want from the offset. What if I um, graft it? What's going to happen? Oh, whoa, whoa. no, no, no. All right. So after we finish our setting, then the last thing remaining is to double check if you have any errors. In order to do so, you can click on the Kuka PRC setting here and then you can go to advanced and then you can click on you can turn all of these on I don't think you use we don't need the render all robot positions we only need these four components here click apply and exit and check if there are any errors since the component is white that means there are no right errors in it and it cuts everything smoothly so the only thing i want to do is to add the, the two things first thing is my bit the distance between from the first point to the second point my bit i am using a six millimeter bit so i'm using six millimeter bit so for me, I want to offset um, from one line to the second line. Probably I want like four millimeters, right? So that's what I want to put. 
from here I go I put like four all right and then here so the tool X um, I have a 317 as my zero zero point of the first of the last point of my end effector plus the bit I need to add the bit uh, length also so like I can get all the I get the length of the tool plus the bit let me explain that here so from this point to this point here I have 317 in the x-axis so it's 317 plus the bit here so whatever bit I am using here I need to add this length to my x-axis so in my case my bits length is about like 80 millimeters so this one becomes 97 that's how long my bit is and then everything is set up now now I simply can export my file so you go to setting and you choose the file name for example I want to choose like CNC sorry language is different CNC like one you should not have space if you have space gonna give you an error and you browse you want to put for example like save it on the desktop and once you're done everything is okay you simply hit apply and you exit now if I can show you my desktop here I can see this is the file I just want to open it for you this is the file for the CNC you simply just feed this file into your robot arm and it should be able to you should be able to run the machine on this uh, script you just want to double check this information is here what it's telling you is it's giving you the base number and the tool number which you have to match manually in your uh, in your uh, robot setting in the coca robot setting and then this is the speed these are the positions for the robot home it doesn't matter um, you just want to double check the tool number seven and the base number zero these are the two most important informations and probably that's it yeah all right so now that's how you create a CNC milling for 3D uh, three-dimensional axis cutting let me know if you have any questions I can cover in the upcoming videos